Hmm. This is going to be a hard decision. I want all three, but I can only afford one. Hmm. Well, that's economics for you. In a basic sense, economics involves the study of the choices people make to satisfy their wants and needs, with a limited supply of resources. People's needs and wants are unlimited. In this case, I want to buy all three products, but I only have enough money to buy one. I have unlimited wants, but a limited quantity of money. The concept of economics also involves the study of the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. That means how many goods and services need to be produced, how will they produce them, and who will use them. Let's back up for a minute. A want is something people desire or need to have. They fulfill that want by buying goods or services. For example, if I want something fun to do, I may buy a book, game, or ticket to a theme park. To be clear, a want can be a good or a service. A good is a physical product we can hold and touch. A service is an action provided to us, not something that can be held or touched. For example, I can buy goods like books, movies, and phones. I can also buy services, like when the dentist cleans my teeth or I get my hair cut. Whether I'm buying a good or service, I'm fulfilling my wants with my limited resources. In this case, money. In economics, a resource can be anything used to get or create the goods and services that people want. Resources include anything from natural resources from the land, capital, like money and the buildings and machines used to produce the goods and services, and labor, the workers themselves, who produce the goods and services that people want to buy. All of these resources, from the natural resources of the earth, money, building supplies, machinery, workers, and more, are limited. This is the idea of scarcity. Scarcity means having a limited supply of resources to meet the needs and wants of society. Everyone can't have everything they want, after all. Scarcity is what drives economic decisions in society. People, communities, and countries are constantly trying to meet their unlimited wants and needs with a limited number of resources. When society makes economic choices on goods and services, they work to answer three basic economic questions. What should be produced? How will it be produced? And who will use it? For example, let's say people have a want for a new video game. A company first needs to decide what game should be created. Next, they'll need to plan what resources will be needed to create it. This includes capital, like money, computers, buildings and software, labor, the workers needed to produce and distribute the game, and any natural resources needed in the production and distribution of the game, too. Finally, they'll need to discover who will buy their game so they can create and market a product that those people will buy. Countries answer those basic economic questions, too. The resources a country has to spend on goods and services is limited. Should a country expand their military, secure better health care for their people, or spend more money on education. They may not have enough money and other resources to spend equally in all areas. This means that hard decisions must be made to fill unlimited wants with limited resources. That's why experts study economics and the effects of those decisions on people and the economy at large. Okay, I think I've made my decision. Or not, I'm not sure. Hey look, more options, and these are on sale must have something to do with the demand. As you can see, there is so much to learn about the study of economics. Keep your eyes open for economic decisions being made in your community and country based on society's wants and needs, and you'll have a deeper understanding about how economics affects your life every day. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the like button to show some love. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep pursuing history.